Good to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I see Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnir myself. A good plan. That is actually a very good idea. What? What? What's happening? Finier? Oh. No, not unless Afton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finier, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? Uh, I found him already. And as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down that throne. Which man? Uh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim. Drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage. No army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham, who was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, He's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? 
Half done, Jarl. Made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane? For a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grip. He's soft. And the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now. Pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Killing and burning as they went. I built myself a home here. Ruins clan attacked us as well. Oh, I must have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. You handled that well. Disputes between Saxon and Dane don't always end so cleanly. That was a clean result. A dispute ending without bloodshed is as clean as they come. Quite a brutal outlook. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan, led by a Dane called Ruid, attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately, I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? With me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmham is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. <laughs>
Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There is smoke ahead. That's Beatley. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. around here. That should be the last of these pig-faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. the kid. <laughs> Ruiz clan, they left none alive. God rest their souls. More grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'll be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared.
healthy seeming town, this Oswald has done well for himself. Look there. A lone Dane. Can't push that. Be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Oh, yeah. Come in handy. of you to stock up. This could be very good. Finish looking around. I'm off. Oswald, where is this dinner you promised me? Eivor, you came! Dinner will still be served, but I'm afraid you are too early. My intended and her family are not ready. This intended of yours, Oswald, who is she? Her name is Valdis, and people don't marry for love these days, Eivor. This is an arrangement for East Anglia's benefit. Dane family whose military might is not to be trifled with, but her brothers, their motives are selfish. Why don't you ever look around and come back later? Dinner will not disappoint.
guards here are vigilant. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I come to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Binir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfdan commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... The last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowning the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to... ...you. I can't see a single knucket. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. Stop! All of you! 
That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia's in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. Well, that's me, Don. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. I'm in good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I'll find a place to lay my head. Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. Clear the mess in the longhouse. Coldest water you can find. Eivor! Good to... <laughs> ah, good morning. Upright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. Indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not. The Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from... Yelling... Pinner, my dranger! Stick this cur in the ground! All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir, the hound. He has bark, but no bite, just the puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That's flighting, Oswald. Using red time to lay a man flat. Try it, match his verse. There's no man you can lead. You dunce of the thirds. Um, a glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood! Heads made of wood. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. <laughs> oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy. So dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. 
I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail... Blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This was wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawl from the womb, you are ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fights it away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well-timed words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. How long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home game. You don't mean that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home game. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finir would not be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I should not be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to